How to keep your fur babies cool on a hot day. Sometimes it can be really frustrating trying to keep your fur babies cool on a hot day, especially if you live in a house where you cannot turn on the air conditioner because your parents won't let you or your roommates don't want it on or for whatever the reason. Maybe you can't afford it, you know. Whatever the reason, it can be very frustrating. But freezing washcloths is one very cool way to keep your fur babies cool. And what you would do is you would place the washcloth next to the spot where they sleep on the outside of their cage. This here is a chill stone. This is the rough side and this is the correct side. That's the side you want up in your cage. Place the chill stone in your hamster's cage where they sleep. Lucy here tends to sleep right underneath where I place her food dish. So I'm going to move everything out of the way so that I will be able to gently slide the chill stone into her habitat without disturbing the rest of her habitat too much. It's best to do this on cleaning day. However, today is a day where I can't do it on cleaning day because her cage was just cleaned. So, I have to try and move stuff without disturbing it too much and gently place it in. Once the washcloth has frozen, I will place it on the outside of Lucy's habitat, right by where I am placing the chill stone now. You can get these chill stones at almost any pet store. They're available at PetSmart. They're also available at Chewy.com. Is very very good to have these especially if you can afford a few of them they're about ten dollars a piece so they can get expensive and if you have several fur babies it can get very expensive but it's definitely worth the money even though you probably won't use them that often it is definitely worth having now what you do with the chillstone though is you would keep it in the refrigerator um, it's best not to freeze them in our opinion, but you might be able to freeze them. I'm not 100% sure on that. But we just keep them in our refrigerator, and then when it is time to use them, we pull them out. And as you can see, I've placed the chillstone in Lucy's habitat, almost without disturbing anything too much. And once she goes back in there, she will be able to go through her burrow and be able to relax on her chillstone. We've also found that our Dwarfies especially like to try and ch chill out or cool off as you may say in their sand baths. So we, we've always provided them sand baths anyway but it is definitely a good idea to provide your hamster with a sand bath. I'm going to place a chillstone in Magic's habitat now and it's a little bit harder to try and not disturb too many things in her cage but I'm gonna slide it right in pretty gently and then I'll you know fix everything and one thing we like to do for our guinea pigs to try and keep them as cool as possible is to make sure that they do not have a fleece hideout in their habitats we like to use a plastic hut instead or sometimes I'll place a hammock in there so that they can get the feel of hiding underneath the hammock instead of you know having all the blankets on top of them. So now I have the chillstone placed in Magic's habitat and once she goes back she will go to her favorite corner and she will be able to chill and relax on her chill stone. Again, sand baths are a really good way for them to chill out as well. Another thing is we've frozen rice pops before to give them like a frozen little treat, which we've thought was pretty, turned out pretty well. Uh, always have a fan. Make sure you have a fan going in the room and do not put your hamsters in an exercise ball whatsoever on a really hot day. It is really not good for them to be in an exercise ball on a hot day. Now, 
magic here is in the playpen. Just chilling with a simple blanket, you know, running around exploring. So that way she can get some exercise while also not exerting herself too much and staying cool and chill. Plus, she's not going to be in here for more than about five minutes on this occasion because it is so hot. I did not want her to overheat. Um, it's definitely never a good idea to put your hamster in a hamster ball on a hot day because they will not be able to get enough air. And if they exert themselves, it's just, you know, it's not good, obviously. Um, our Syrian hamster, Pippi, never uses an exercise ball. But our Dorfies absolutely love their exercise balls. Some people say exercise balls in general are just not a good idea. But we do put our Dorfies in an exercise ball. However, we do offer them lots and lots of playpen time. And we definitely prefer the playpen versus the ball. And when they do, when our Dorfies do go in their balls, we always make sure that they do not spend an excessive amount of time in their balls. Some people would let their hamster run around all day long in their balls, but that's never a good idea. When they are in their balls, they do not have access to water. And sometimes they may bring food along with them in their cheek pouches. However, you know, they do not have access to water. So it is just not a good idea. I mean, think about if you yourself were running around and uh, you know we're without a water bottle it would be no different you know you'd be getting dehydrated and the hamsters can have the same issue so hamster balls are never a good idea on a hot day and it's never a good idea for them to be in them too long to begin with for our fur babies, we like to make sure that their room is temperature between 68 and 72 degrees. We are absolutely thrilled whenever it is about 70 degrees in the room because then it is not too hot and it's not too cold. Definitely a good idea to make sure you have a thermometer in the room so that way you can maintain the temperature and you'll know if it is getting too hot or getting too cold. So again, using frozen washcloths to place on the outside of your fur baby habitat is one way to help keep them cool on a hot day. Always make sure that you have the fans running and you can offer them a frozen treat. We like to use rice pops. Um, you can also offer them a, a fresh carrot or something of the sort that maybe you freeze. Remember to turn your air conditioner on if it is available and make sure that you provide your fur babies with a chill stone if you can do so. It is extremely important to make sure that you have plenty of air ventilation going through your fur babies' habitats and this is one reason why on occasion depending on their hamster we will sometimes crack a part of their tanks um, top although this is not really something that we recommend doing because it can provide your hamster with a way to escape however our hamsters are not able to really climb out of their tanks because they're in aquariums so on occasion we do crack their toppers Another thing that you can do is take some water bottles and freeze the water in the water bottles and place them around your fur baby's habitats. This may be easier if you only have a few fur babies, but if you have many like we do, it may be a bit more challenging. However, it will help keep them cool. And always remember to provide them with plenty of fresh water to drink. If you have rats, feeding them frozen fruits or vegetables is one good way to keep them a little cooler. And to give them a nice chill and relaxing special treat. Eating or drinking last Saturday, sign that they could be overheating. 
also be on the lookout for hot ears, nose, and or tail. We hope this helps, and we hope that you will like, share, comment, and 